In this Dubai mall, the future of dining has arrived. This is RoboCafe. A perfect blend of artificial intelligence and engineering. The city now has a cafe completely operated by robots. We have the first robot to prepare the food. The second robot will prepare the juices. And the third robot will prepare the hot drinks. And then the delivery bot will deliver the drink to the table. Sarah Hatcham, an engineer at DG World, has been working on this $2 million project for over a year and a half. So the first thing is that the customer will interact, will sit here and interact with the smart menu by choosing the items to be ordered. Then the order will be sent to the three robots. The first time the robot served me a coffee, I had tears in my eyes. Seeing the robot delivering your items and at the end just see it fully working, it's, it's a great feeling. Last year, consultancy group Oxford Economics found that the rise of robots and automation could lead to the loss of 20 million manufacturing jobs within the next decade. Some people think that the robots are taking the, the job of a lot of people. But in reality, the robotic industry is creating a lot of jobs, from engineering to technicians to designers. Today, the cafe may be a novelty attraction. But in the midst of a global pandemic and a growing need for contactless systems, Sarah believes that these machines could serve a much larger purpose. The most important advantage is the safety and the hygiene, especially that it has less human intervention during this uh, corona pandemic. In the next few years, I'm sure that we're going to see a lot of robots to interact with people, to serve people uh, for, for their better experience. Robots that are keeping customers safe, allowing them to enjoy a futuristic service the robot can also dance. And even providing entertainment. Anna Stewart for CNN.